Hey everybody, welcome back to Vedic Sage. I'm Dr. Dhaliwal and today we're going to be talking about how to manage a headache from an Ayurvedic perspective. Ayurveda looks at these conditions as being heavily influenced by three primary doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha. For example, vata dosha is made up of two primary elements, ether and air, and has the qualities of dry, light, rough, cold, mobile, and subtle. And if these qualities of vata become aggravated, they can affect other bodily tissues, for example, the nervous system, leading to a vata-type headache. Often these vata-type headaches are experienced in the occipital region of the brain or the base of the brain and are characterized as a throbbing, shooting, and even vague pain. Likewise, vata-type headaches are often associated with constipation, indigestion, and abdominal pain. Another factor that Ayurveda takes into consideration is the mind of emotions within the individual. For example, Vata individuals who have unresolved underlining emotions of fear, anxiety, and insecurity, this is thought to also contribute to a Vata type headache. Therefore, the management of a headache from an Ayurvedic perspective is first initially to address the acute symptoms and then provide a long-term management in order to stabilize or balance the dosha and therefore prevent the recurrence of a headache. Therefore, for the acute initial state of a vata type headache, you would want to consider certain elements such as essential oils or paste. Also, we can consider anasya, which is a medicated oil that's introduced into the nasal passage and therefore stimulates the olfactory bulb or the first cranial nerve and therefore directly stimulate the central nervous system. Likewise, Ayurveda takes a look at certain marma points or pressure points that has a direct correlation on the bodily tissue primarily the central nervous system. Therefore, for the initial management of vata type headaches, you can start off with the essential oil or paste of nutmeg, which can be applied temporally or frontally and therefore will help to pacify this imbalanced vata dosha. Other essential oils to consider for vata type headache are henna, musk, cinnamon, and sesame oil. All of these oils will help to pacify that vata dosha and therefore help to stabilize or alleviate one from the headache. Likewise, nausea, as we mentioned, is the medicated oil that's introduced into the nasal passage that works on the cribriform plate and influences the olfactory nerve or the central nervous system. And we can consider oils such as either plain ghee or even consider siddha soma oil. These oils can be introduced into the nasal passageway and therefore affect the cribriform and the olfactory bulb and the olfactory bulb being one of the cranial nerves that come off the central nervous system. And finally, herbs to consider for a longer term management of vata type headaches are dashamula, ashwagandha, bala, and tagara. All of these herbs will help to stabilize that vata dosha and help to prevent a headache from reoccurring. Likewise, just to stabilize that vata dosha, you may want to consider one teaspoon of haritake one hour before bed, taken with warm water, and this will help to keep the vata dosha stabilized. And finally, you would want to consider a neck or shoulder massage with maha naharayan oil, which is specific for vata dosha. Now we'll take a look at pitta dosha, and pitta is made up of fire and water with the qualities of heavy, sharp, light, liquid, mobile, and oily. And if these qualities of pitta become aggravated, they can lead to a pitta type headache that's characterized as intense, sharp, and a penetrating type headache. This is thought to be due to the excessive fire element of pitta dosha, which can occur due to excessive exposure to direct hot sunlight or even hyperacidity and acid indigestion. As mentioned before, Ayurveda also takes into consideration the mind of emotions of the individual. Therefore, pitta individuals who have unresolved emotions of anger, hate, envy, jealousy, and critical nature of competition, this is also thought to lead to a pitta type headache. Therefore, the initial management for this type of headache would include applying sandalwood paste or oil to the site of the headache will help to pacify the dosha locally. And other essential oils to consider for pitta type headache are jatamamsi, jasmine, kus, and even coconut oil. These are all very cooling and pacifying for the pitta dosha and will help to alleviate that pitta type headache. Likewise, nasya or the medicated oil that's introduced into the nasal passage to help stimulate that olfactory bulb being one of the cranial nerves that comes off the central nervous system, we can consider brahmi ghee and ghee is the purified essence of butter and if we add the herbal deconcoction of brahmi to this ghee, this brahmi ghee will help to alleviate this type of pitta headache. Herbs for long-term management of this type of pitta headache in order to prevent the recurrence of this headache, we can consider herbs such as shatavari, gulwal sattva, and kamadudah. 
These herbs are cooling in nature and therefore help to pacify that fire element of pitta dosha. Likewise, we would want to consider one teaspoon of amalaki one hour before bed to help cleanse the small intestine and colon of these qualities of pitta to prevent them from being absorbed generally into the circulation and therefore affecting the nervous tissue. And lastly, we'll take a look at kapha dosha. And kapha is made up of water and earth and has the qualities of heavy, dense, cold, oily, liquid, and dull. These qualities of kapha can lead to a frontal type headache or kapha type headache that's characterized as a cold, dull, or achy type of headache, often associated with allergies or even cold and congestion. Therefore, the initial management of kapha type headache would be to apply ginger or vacha oil to the head and therefore help to pacify this kapha dosha. Other essential oils to consider for kapha type headache are camphor, eucalyptus, cloves, cinnamon, and even consider cardamom oil. These oils will help to warm the kapha dosha and pacify this kapha type headache. And finally, herbs to consider for long-term management to prevent the reoccurrence of this type of headache, you'd want to consider herbs such as sitopaladi, Maha Sudarshan, Trikatu, and even Abrak Basma. These herbs will help to pacify and keep this kapha dosha in check to prevent further reoccurrence of kapha type headache. Okay guys, this was simply just a quick overview of how to initially manage a headache, whether it being a vata, pitta, or kapha type headache, and also certain herbs to consider for long-term management to prevent the reoccurrence of these types of headaches. Okay guys, I hope this helped, and until we meet next time, take care.